Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. So today we're going to be looking at the union function on Power Automate. Now the union function works with both collections and objects and in our example we're going to be using an array to show this. Now what happens if we've got two arrays? We've got a human array of Joe and Sarah, myself and my wife, and then we've got a second array of Jax and Meg, which are my cats. Now what if we actually wanted to combine this then? Well, this is what union is used for. So let's actually take a look at this then. Well, here you can see we have a humans array of Joe and Sarah, and we've got a cats array of Jax and Meg. Now if we pass these into the union function, which is passing in humans and then passing in cats, what's actually going to happen is this is going to combine both arrays and then produce an additional array for us which then will return Joe, Sarah, Jax and Meg and that's how you use it so let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then okay so we're on Power Automate now you can see we've got a manual trigger for our flow and we're creating two arrays the human names array and the cat's name array and we're doing this in parallel if you want to know more about parallelization then I've got a video on that but in essence we're creating them at the same time and what we're doing here is we're passing in Joe and Sarah into the human's name array and in the cat's name array we're using Jax and Meg and then we're going to use a compose action and a union function to actually pass in the human's name array and the cat's name array and let's see what we actually get back then so let's just kick off this flow okay so as you can see our flow ran successfully and you can see that our arrays were created. Now let's see what we actually get back once we've used Union. And as you can see there, we have got Joe, Sarah, Jax, and Meg. So both arrays have been combined and we've now created a family array, um, which we can now use. And that is how you use Union to combine multiple arrays into one. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.